Hi and welcome to Divine Lee Design Studio. My name's Nicole Reed and today is Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Okay, so today's little tip is uh, zipper tabs. So there are many different ways of doing zipper tabs and I come across this about six months ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, when I was making a bag for a, a swap on Instagram and it had a different way of doing the zipper tabs. Now normally I would, you know, get your piece of fabric and sew it in the wrong way, then turn it out and slip it over the end of the zip. This way is a great quick time saving tip for making zipper tabs and they are just as good as the other way. So let's get started. Okay, good morning everybody. So today's tip is how to do quick and easy zipper tabs. So you're going to need a quilting ruler, a zip of any size and a couple of pieces of fabric. Uh, these measure three inches by about one and a half or two inches. You can trim them down. That's entirely up to you. So what you're going to do is you'll get your rectangles, you'll fold them in half and you can either finger press or you can press them with your iron. And then we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch these down and I'll show you how quick and easy this little tip is. Okay, so you've got your zip and you've got your little zipper tabs which I've pressed um, off camera. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that metal stop. So I just cut that as close as I can. You can use your picking shears or you can just use your fabric scissors and you want it to be straight. Okay, so I have a pouch that I'm going to put this into so I'm going to grab that and measure it up to make sure that I'm getting it to the right um, measurements and you would do that for whatever pouch you're putting it in or handbag or whatever you're making this for. Okay, so I've just put a mark on there and I'm going to place that onto that mark and that's at about three quarters of an inch in from the edge of the zip. So I'm going to place that there and then I'm going to just quickly open this up and all I'm going to do to make this zipper tab in place, so that crease there is on the mark that I've made and then I'm just going to sew directly across in that valley of that crease that I made. So you can see there, I've just sewn that to, to it and I've used white so you can see on the back. So I've just sewn on the, the crease and then basically all I do is I fold that back and now I have my zipper tab in place and I can just trim this up to the edge of the, the zipper tape and I just grab my pinking shears and I just trim off that excess and that's it. That's my zipper tab done. So when I sew that into my project, you can see there that the zipper tab is nice and clean. I don't have to worry about top stitching it. I don't need to worry about going around the outside. My zipper tab is on there and then I just repeat that at the other end. So what I'm going to do now is move this zipper tab, the, the zipper pull up, and I'm just going to move it to the center of the uh, zipper tape. And then I'm going to just do a couple of stitches across the and back again and then forward and all that does is it just as acts as a stopper because I'm going to cut this metal bit off and it just means that the zipper pull won't accidentally if I'm not thinking and I accidentally pull on that zipper pull and pull it completely off the zipper tape then I, I'll have to try and feed that back in but I'm not going to have to worry about that now because I've put those little stays in there and you can see there that it's not going to go out, go past that stitching. So now I can just quickly take off the end of that zip and I'm just going to get rid of those little metal stops. Then I grab my other piece of fabric. I get my, I'm just doing a measurement off camera. And again, that's going to come in approximately three quarters of an inch. So again, I just make a mark with my texture. So you can see there, I've just made a mark. And then I lay that crease, that press crease that i done. I just lay it like that. I open this up. And then again, I just stitch. 
making sure that my zipper pulls out of the way and I'm not going to stitch on that. You can put a couple of pins in if you feel the need to, that's fine. And we just stitch across. Then we get our pinking shears. So you can see now that the zipper pull's not going to go anywhere. Get our pinking shears and just trim that up. And there you have it. Quick and easy zipper pulls. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this into a project and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've put the zipper tab in. You can see here that there's no stitching and it's just gone in nicely. It's even with the edge of the little pouch that I'm doing. So I'm just going to do my top stitching now and then I'll assemble the pouch and I'll show you the final pictures. Okay, so I've just made my little pouch and you can see there that the zipper tabs are in there. They're sitting nice and neat and they are that easy to do. And you can see that the zipper tabs are just in nicely and they open and close very well and they are quick and easy and you don't have to worry about turning anything in the right way or making little boxes over them you can top stitch across them if you want to but i don't worry about it i just basically stitch them on how i showed you and that's it and there we go Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed our video today of a, a quick and easy zipper tabs. Give it a go. Tell me what you think. Leave us a comment down below and tell us how you went. If not, you can always join our face group and we'd love to see the projects that you do. I ended up making this cute little pouch, which I've got now to throw into my sewing kit and I can put cottons or anything in there. So that's great. And as I said, it's very quick and easy and you'll really enjoy making your zipper tabs this way and you'll probably use them more often than not. If you like this video today, give us a thumbs up down below. And as always, we love to hear from you. So please leave us a comment and consider subscribing to our channel and hit that little bell icon beside that subscribe button. And that way you won't miss out on any future posts. Have a great day, everybody. My name's Nicole Reed for Devonali Design Studio, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.